things are a lot more simple uh, than I had it in my mind. Uh, you know, I was I was unsure. I was uh, you know, and this this really just cleared things up for me. Um, and it also base you know just kind of helped me to have that confidence going through the clouds. It just you know, and I I've, I always have the foggles on, and I'm glued to the screen. But it's different when when you don't have the foggles on and you really can't see out because you see kind of the edges sometimes. Right. And I'm trying not to peek, but you know, you, you know, being just glued to the screen. Also, I, it, it was just uh, it took it kind of demystified because uh, I was I was thinking and I've read and, you know it's much better to actually have IMC versus simulated. So I was like, okay, well, what's different? And it really demystified it. And, Really, there's nothing different. I'm just still glued to, to the same screen. Yep. You know? yep. We're flying the approach plates that we brief. Yeah. If you're not, if it's not scary briefing it, it shouldn't be scary flying it. Yeah. A hundred percent. Good. Four five six thirty nine. Try one two eight point seven five again, please. Yeah, and then went and then I like the also. As you get close, options are coming off the table, so clean your screen up. Throw it away. Clean the table. Yeah. Clean the table. You know how when dessert's about to be served, you clear the table? Yeah. Clear the table. Yeah. Clear the table. It's cleaner. It's more comfortable. Your situational awareness is higher. There's not a bunch of lines going all over the place. You don't know what's coming next. Yeah. Clean the table. Good. Solid. And uh, just really staying ahead of the plane uh you know like back there uh you know as we were climbing we hadn't even uh you know as we were climbing we hadn't even you know i guess been directed to our first uh waypoint to to camarillo vor you know start you know loading in the frequencies uh, you know your airport your your weather your ground uh, start loading everything in Staying ahead of it because you know what's coming. Yeah, you know we talked about it yesterday. You should always be ahead of the plane, but especially in IFR. Yeah, because in IFR we know exactly what's coming. Yeah, they'll eventually tell us to contact tower. They'll eventually tell us to contact ground. They'll eventually want us to hear the ATIS. They'll eventually yeah. want us. We know these things before I woke up this morning. Yeah, you know what I mean. So to stay ahead of the plane in IFR, there's no excuse not to because you could do nine out of ten things even hours before you reach your destination. Yeah. COM2 is fully yours between your origin and destination. You, there's no reason for you to use it along the way. Yeah. All you need along the way is switching the standby and active of cam one, COM1 one between approaches uh -huh. and then eventually tower your destination. COM2 is yours from when you take off for the destinations. You could plug in ATIS and ground of the destination whenever. Yeah. You could stay ahead of it that way. Yep. There's many different things that you could do to stay ahead of the airplane. And in IFR, not only is it important, there's really no excuse not to because we know what's coming. Yeah. We know what's yeah. coming. We have it all. We have it all. There's no surprises. And you see at the end of these few days together, no matter where we're going to, on approaches and approaches and approaches and approaches and approaches. Yes. Yeah. The waypoint names change. The altitudes might differ slightly. But yeah. it approaches and approaches and approach. Activate approach does the same function here yeah. as it does in New York, as it does in Seattle, as it does in Florida, as it does in Salt Lake. Yeah. One two zero point four. That's it. Good work. Good stuff. You picked it up all quickly. Yeah. Quickly. That yeah, was really good. Quickly. When could you comply with approach plate altitudes? When I'm cleared for the approach and I'm on and an active second. One or the other, not good enough. Nope. And. Good. Solid. Yep. Good. It's very simple. And all these things, as you can ima remember, when you were learning IFR, seem like, what are you talking about? Yeah. And then now, the clarity that you have along with the approach button, for instance, is so simple, stupid, that you think to yourself, why did I ever, why was I ever confused I with that? Yeah. But that's just how it is sometimes. You know yep. what I mean? It takes time to... Yeah. And then also activate just draws a pink line to your the first point that you entered in for the approach. That's all it does. It's it's and if all, you're on nav then it'll start taking you there. All but, it is is a direct enter enter. Yeah. To your initial it. approach mix. That's yeah, it. That's it. <laughs> that's yeah. all it is. It's so simple. 
This arms your up, down, right, left, 3D. This arms only your right, left. Yep. Very simple. Very, very simple. No confusion. V path brings you to your glide path. Yeah. That's it. While figuring out the descent rate as your ground speed changes. Yeah. Easy. Absolutely solid. Good.